we need more and more in different voices at the table. Because a lot of times we, we are living by what somebody told us about the Bible. And a lot of times that information is information that causes us to be oppressive toward others. It maybe even causes us to be in a sense schizophrenic because it is oppressive to us as well, but we have not learned to think about it more critically. Womanism is um, an approach um, that privileges the experiences, voices, traditions, and artifacts of African, primarily African American women, although there are other women of color who call themselves womanists, and primarily outside of the study of religion. In terms of biblical interpretation, uh, we are scholars who take a, a particular, uh, use a particular perspective, uh, African American females' perspective, privileging our voices. We don't say we, well, our voices are not the same, but we do have things in common, right? And so we privilege uh, our concerns, our voices, our traditions, and read biblical text from that that standpoint, from that hermeneutical framework. I think womanist biblical interpretation is necessary because it brings a different set of questions that otherwise may not get answered. And questions that need to be addressed in order that we can uh, live together in a, in, in a society that respects all voices, that is concerned with the predicament of uh, the least of these among us. Right?